Welcome to Mobile Math, Math Lessons on the Go. Today's learning goal, by the end of this lesson, I should be able to multiply double and triple digit positive numbers together using a column model. And again, this is without the use of a calculator. So this is the same learning goal as the previous model, only this time we're actually going to get into multiplying triple digit numbers together. So a quick reminder, multiplication is a shortcut for repetitive addition. The result of multiplying numbers together is called the product. I'm going to say the same warning as I did in the previous video. The column model is a very efficient way to solve multiplication problems, but it requires a strong grasp of the multiplication process. So I strongly recommend that the use of the area model be mastered before continuing to this model. You'll notice in this first example, 12 times 45, in the upper right hand corner I have this area model of the solution so we're going to use this as a landmark so when we get a, if we get a little loss in the column models we can always come back here and look to see where some of those numbers came from so let's jump right in with column model number one so I'm going to multiply 2 times 5 to get a 10 and 2 times a 40 to get an 80 I'm just going to switch colors here now here's where I have to be careful this is a 10 times a 5 for 50 and 10 times a 40 for 400 and if I add those all together you'll notice that I end up with 540 you will also notice that these four numbers right here all show up in the area model now column model number two I'm going to say this as most people who try and explain multiplication in the column model will say this so bear with me I'll try and point out where some of the concerns and issues are so let's get started on column model number two. Two times five is ten. They write the zero, they carry the one. Now here's where it gets tricky. Two times four is eight, plus one more is nine. But we can see, if we stop to think about this, that two times forty-five on the top would be ninety. Okay, so let's continue here. This is the tricky line now. You will be told to put a placeholder of a zero there, and the reason we have to play, put the placeholder of a zero there is because I'm multiplying by a 10 uh, when I use this one out front, not just a one, but when people explain it, they just say one. So one times five is five, one times four is four, and they haven't made any reference to the tens or the one hundreds they're dealing with. That's why it can sometimes be tricky. If I add those together, I get 540, and you should notice that, hey look, there's the two numbers I got from column model number one, but it is a little shorter, a little less to write. So let's try a little larger number. I'm going to multiply 125 times 24. Again, in the upper right corner here, I have the area model with the solution. So let's try column model number one. Four times five is 20. Four times 20 is 80 and 4 times 100 is 400 so I've taken care of these three pieces right here in blue I'm just gonna get that out of the way so I can see where the next part comes from now the next part is 20 times a 5 20 times a 20 or 400 and 20 times 100 or 2000 and when I total all of that up, I should find I get a nice value of 3,000 as my final product. Now again, I'm going to do the column model number two, and I'm going to say it the way people try to explain multiplication, and this is why this model can be a little confusing. So here's what it sounds like. 4 times 5 is 20, I carry the 2. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 more is 10, carry the 1. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 more is 500. So what you can see if you compare the two models, there's the first three pieces from column model number 1, where they are and how they show up in column model number 2. Now we go to that second line, and this is where you'll be told to put a placeholder of a 0. Again, reminder, we're putting the placeholder of a 0 there because we're multiplying by 20s, even though people won't say that. 2 times 5 is 10, carry the 1. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 more is 5, and 2 times 1 is 2. So you can see the result there when we add all of this together is still 3,000, and these three numbers here make up the 2,500. So a little less writing, but you do have to know where all of the numbers come from. So let's try our final example, example here. 
This is going to be a big one. 435 times 124. And I'm going to have to move kind of quickly on this one because it's going to take a few minutes to do it. I have my area model in the right corner here so we can always look back. You can see the result is 53,940. So I've got a big result here. So let's try and do column model number one fairly quickly. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 30 is 120. 4 times 400 is 1,600. Green, we'll start with the 20. So 20 times 5, 100. 20 times 30, 600. 20 times 400, 8,000. And then lastly, I'll multiply the hundreds in. 100 times 5, 500. 100 times 30, 3,000. And 100 times 400, this is the big one. There's 40,000. And if I add all of that up, hopefully it still fits, I should get my 53,940. So you can see that column model number one starts to get a little bit long when we get bigger numbers. Here's where column model number two might be a little bit of an advantage. But again, I'll say it the way people are going to say it. 4 times 5 is 20. Carry the 2. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 more is 14 carry the 1. 4 times 4 is 16 plus 1 more is 17. So if you look, there's those first three pieces. We'll move to the 2's column, and again, you're going to be told to put a placeholder of a 0 in there because we're multiplying by 20's. 2 times 5 is 10, carry the 1. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 more is 7, and 2 times 4 is 8. And again, you will notice there's that component. And lastly, I'm going to be multiplying by 100, so I have to put in two placeholders of 0. 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 3 is 3, and 1 times 4 is 4. And when I sum all that up, I get my 53,940. So you can see how the column model number two with bigger numbers is actually a bit more efficient in terms of its writing, but you do have to be able to follow the patterns on where those numbers come from. So I'll ask you to pause the video here and try the following with the column model. So please, please press pause now. Okay, hopefully you've had a chance to look at them. So I'll just reveal some of the answers that I have so I don't have to go through them all. I did column model number one for the first question. So check your answers. You can see where I have multiplied the 8 into all of those pieces and then followed up by multiplying the 20 into all of those pieces. Call uh, model number 2 was used for question B. So I'd like to point out this one line though. 0 times all of those digits on the top will just be a 0. When I move to the second line, I have to make sure I still keep track of that placeholder because I'm multiplying by tens. In the third line, I need two zeros because I'm multiplying by one hundredths. So check your answers. Hopefully you got them correct. And thank you for watching. Please watch again and pause where you may have had difficulties. And good luck in your future math problems.